What up, good people? What are we learning about today? Today we learn about CUDA cords. What are CUDA cords and why do we need them? Now, you're out looking for a brand new graphics card. You at Micro Center, you at Best Buy. You're looking at all the specs for this graphics card and you see this thing called CUDA cords. And you're thinking to yourself, what the hell is a CUDA cord? Now, CUDA cores is something that's kind of native to NVIDIA. So this doesn't apply to AMD type graphics cards. This is just NVIDIA graphics cards, NVIDIA graphics cards only. Employ this technology, CUDA. Now, what is CUDA? NVIDIA released CUDA June 23rd, 2007. So CUDA, the technology has been with us for a, a little bit. Now, CUDA is an acronym. What it means is Compute Unified Device Architecture. Now, what does a CUDA do? To render and display graphics. That's what it's do. That's what it does. It's its main purpose, is to render the graphics that you see on your screen. This could be whether it's Windows. If you put a photo on your screen, it really doesn't matter. CUDA cores are often numbered in the hundreds of thousands on a single GPU. Now I'm gonna explain what that means real quick. Now, you have to think of a CPU. CPUs have two cores, four cores. Some of them even have 16 cores. Now, CUDA is measured the same kind of way, but a little bit different. They're numbered in the thousands, sometimes in the hundreds, but most of the time in the thousands. Like a good example is, let's take the Gigabyte. The Gigabyte 3050. You can purchase it at Micro Center for 379, right? Now, if you look through the specs for this particular graphics card, you'll see that the CUDA cores number 2560. Cool, right? So you look at these specs and you get to kind of judge what type of graphics performance you're gonna be able to pull out of this particular graphics card. Now, you can go to more of the higher end model graphics cards. Let's look at the EVGA RTX 3090. Now, it's cooler cores is coming in at 10,496. So you got the first graphics card at 2,000. This one is at 10,000. So you can only imagine the type of graphics that's gonna be coming from this car. So what else do we have? Many computer users are familiar with CPUs as they are often advertised prominently with new computers. Most modern CPUs are dual or quad core, meaning they have two or four core components capable of processing data. That's just a more technical way of saying what I just said. Like with each processor, you have two cores, four cores. What do cores do? Each core is like, imagine you have a brain. For those of us that don't have a brain, imagine having a brain. And in that brain, you have little brains. Each of those little brains are capable of thinking about or doing some sort of individual task. So one brain can think of one thing, but multiple brains can do multiple things all at the same time. That's what all those cores and stuff like that is, you know, really about. CUDA cores have one goal in mind, graphics, like we said before. So we're going to keep this one short and sweet. I just want people to know what CUDA cores are. These are the things that's rendering your graphics, giving you all that beautiful gameplay giving you those 4K scenes in your movies, anything like that. And I want everybody to have a good day and see you on the next one.